Today I'm going to be testing out the GoPlay Cosmetics Hyper Personalized Lips Kit. It's this little device that lets you create custom lipstick shades. It has these cartridges on the inside filled with primary colors plus black and white, so you pump out different combinations and mix together a whole new shade. We're gonna make a few lipsticks and I'm gonna do a wear test since the formula is described as waterproof, smudge proof, and long lasting. So the kit does come with this chart that tells you how many pumps of each color gives you this new shade. I think I see a few colors that I'm really interested in making, but I'm gonna go rogue for one and just pump out a bunch of colors and see what happens. Here are the lipstick containers that come with the kit. You're basically supposed to detach the bottom piece, attach it to the kit, pump out all of the lipstick, mix it, and then attach it right back to the other piece here. And it has like a little brush on top so that you can apply it whenever you want. I am really into this weird olivey green color right here at the bottom. So let's start with that one. All right, let me open this up. And I already have my lipstick container attached. So now all I gotta do is pump the colors into it. So four pumps of yellow, one of blue. I already see the color in there. Did that come out? Okay, the blue didn't come out. That is a weirdly small amount of lipstick. I assume that you can just keep pumping the same combination until you get as much as you want, but I think this is fine for now. I don't need an entire container of Shrek green lipstick. Oh God, it's actually terrible, but it's what I wanted. I've made my bed and now I have to lie in it. It's so ugly, oh my God. <laughs> this isn't like a read on the lipstick. It's just like an ugly color that I chose. It's, it's not great. There's this brownie nude color that has a pretty complicated combination. So I wanna try that one next. Three pumps of red, six pumps of yellow, one pump of blue, five of white, and one pump of black. Did anything come out? Ugh. Still nothing. The black is very temperamental. It just always decides to not work when I need it. Because I had so much trouble mixing that last shade, I think I'm gonna try it again one more time just to see if it comes out any closer to the color that's on the chart. Okay, that time it looks like every color came out. Whether or not that was exact measurement, I don't know, but let's mix it and see what happens. It looks better than the last time. I think because I'm having so much trouble getting a solid pump out of these cartridges, it's making the combinations turn out a bit off. That first attempt wasn't even in the right ballpark of what I was trying to create, so I think we're gonna run into some problems getting the color to be right. In the instructions, it does say to pump out a little bit of each cartridge before using, just to make sure that the product is flowing properly. I did do that, but I'm still having trouble getting the right amount out of them. There's this bright orange color that is speaking to me, so let's try that one. It is a simpler recipe, so hopefully there's no problems with this one. This one is just one pump red, two pumps yellow. I don't think there's a way to mess that up, but watch it mess up. This one looks pretty close to the picture. I feel like it looks less dusty. Yeah. So on the website, you can actually buy this purple cartridge to expand the pool of colors you're able to make. I think it would be fun to swap out one of the cartridges with this one and kind of just make up a lipstick. I feel now I just made an ashy purple. I, I clearly have no idea what I'm doing, but it looks more like what I wanted. I think I'm gonna stop here. It's not great, but it looks good enough. Originally, the plan was for me to do a wear test with this lipstick just to see how it held up, but because the lips kit was so difficult to use, I think I'm just gonna call it here. The cartridges just kept getting backed up, and even when I followed the instructions on what to do when that happens, it just didn't help very much. It just kept happening. I'm also not the biggest fan of this formula. It feels dry on the lips, and some of the colors were just really patchy. Overall, this kit and the lipsticks I made with it were just really inconsistent, so I think that I have to say that this is a pass for me.